Lady Tom Rabbit. I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there. Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Uh, what's your user? Exclamation mark underscore like 20. Cool guy, Jeff 69. Hold on. Let me switch to my laptop from my, um, from my mobile so I can clearly see the names. I'll be back. Just hold that thought. Let me just start my laptop. I mean, you can just beat me if you want. So, like, so he said that, like, the only possible way that you can have logic is if God exists. And I asked for the inference, and he just received the claim twice. So, what I'm trying to do right now is get control back to the room. If you guys take turns, right, I know you guys as atheists have a lot to disagree with Darth, but what you should do is note down what he's saying, and then when it's your turn, I will allow you to, you know, bring up a point that he might have stated, and you can have a more structured back and forth rather than just interrupting each other. Wait, was somebody else speaking? Oh, hold on, I'm trying to boot my app. It's starting to update on the laptop. Hold on. 66, was there somebody else speaking? I thought I was the only person. Cool guy. Tell me what I just said. Well, you said okay. that, like, cool, listen. No, that's cool no, guy. No, hold on a second. It's cool guy. Mute him right now. Mute him right what now. This guy, this guy is a serial stalker and harasser and troll. Bye-bye, cool guy. Mute him. He's done. This is what you get when you behave like a, a complete horse's rear end. You engage in stalking and persistent harassing, especially across platforms on Discord and a clubhouse, right? You, you lose the privilege of dialoguing with me. Bye-bye, cool guy. Okay. Yeah. So take turns talking. Don't interrupt okay, each so, other. Okay, even so what we have person, here. Even if another person keeps going, what right. you're going to do is just take notes and then bring up, after they're done talking, the point you want to attack. You will not just, like, cut in. You will wait. Wait, we're doing a Darth Dawkins show? Oh, crap. Mute me now. Hey, you might as well get out of the way. Yeah, mute, J mute JD. He's a he's troll. He's an asshole. Mute it. Screw Here that we guy. go. Here JD we King go. Mute it. He's, he's trolling oh, again. Mute he just scoffs in ignorance that you're he's a vexatious atheopath. Uh, hey, JD, just chill out really quick. It's my room, right? Yeah, mute him, please. He trolls you. I'm mute him. I understand. Just let me finish. Um, what I'm trying to do right now is make it into a form where we don't have to meet people. So to the people who obviously do not like Darth Dawkins, that's fine. I don't I don't really care. You will wait until he's done talking and explaining his position, and then you will get to come up with the note that you made before, rather than just at that like injecting in the middle of his uh sentence. So that's how we're gonna do this. Darth floor is yours. Okay, so I will just tell you right now, um, the atheists will come in here and any number of them will, will, will troll to the extent they think that you will be tolerant and lenient about it. So I would be very stringent that if they show any sign of heckling, catcalling, or trolling, just mute them. All right, hold on. I'm switching, I'm switching to my desktop app. Hold on. So yeah, my apologies for that. I just kind of assumed this is going to be a different environment. But if it's all fair, then I'll be cool. JD, please, would you mute him? He's a perennial troll. Mute him. Right. Uh, well, Darth, would you please mute should, him? I, I'm talking. No, no, he he will be muted if he. Okay, you know what? You. Then I'm then I'm then I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. I'm telling you right now, in good faith, he he has a history of trolling. Well, you know, this is what these, this is what these people I'll do. If, if, you, if, you, fine, it, if you don't mute, thank you. Okay, I do not indict people unfairly. Okay, if I tell you these people are trolls, you can take it to the bank. All right, there, there's a, a there's a, there's a couple of dozen of these people that have a long history of this, and they're disgusting people. And they will behave badly. They'll even come in the room pretending to be honest interlocutors, okay, to to moderators that are unaware. So do we have any unbelievers that would like to challenge the self-identity claims of Jesus Christ? Yeah, now the, now the floor is open for anybody to come forward and actually interact with what Dark said. You see, when they can't get away with trolling or behaving badly— they don't want to challenge somebody who competently understands biblical presuppositionalism. Okay? 
And so all you get are either the village idiots or people who have a history of trolling or people who are new to trolling. I can't find any intelligent, mature-minded unbelievers to challenge the Christian worldview. It would be nice if there were if there were some that would show up. Okay, well, start right now, uh, and this is what I'm going to try and do because I barely know you, and I don't know the history of ever, any of these other people. But what I want to try and do is reconcile you and JD so that there can be some kind of conversation because it looks no, like no, sir, you're you're you are you are you are you are, you are naive. You do not understand this person. Uh, I've understood him for several years. He is a notorious, unrepentant atheist troll, and he put it on full display here again. Okay, so he burned his bridges a long time ago. Okay, I, I'm right. sorry that you are not consciously aware of his notorious history. Okay, at least in dealing with me and and other believers. And he is unrepentant. So once people, in my view, as a grown man, as a Christian of 40 years, once somebody behaves so chronically bad, they lose the privilege of interacting with me. Okay? Gotcha. All right. Does anybody else want to step forward? I can step forward. No, he you're you're a troll. Mute him. So no. Skylar fiction is okay, a notorious well, Darth, multi year just, troll. Darth, what we Darth, what we can't do is just mute every single person that you have a history. That's not with. that's that that's it's not wrong. what I'm doing. Okay, that's not what I'm doing with there are plenty of people that I have a history with who aren't notorious trolls. The fact that you are unaware of it, okay is is not right. is not my problem. The fact of the matter is Skylar Fiction, JD and a few other people have notorious histories of behaving very badly and being trolls, okay? It's that simple. Okay. Now, okay. if so, if you want to so allow if you want if you want to allow, let me finish. If you want to allow as the operator of this room, if you want to allow as a Christian, those people who have been clearly identified as having a multi-year history of trolling, if you want to treat them as though they are dignified persons, that they, they have are. the privilege of speaking. No. Yeah, you do. Dignified. No. The issue, when I say dignified person, I'm talking about that they've conducted themselves in a, in a way in a non-trollish fashion. Now, if you want to right. treat these people who I and other people will identify to you where they have a multi-year history of trolling and you want to ignore that and let these people, when they are clearly identified as being notorious trolls, if you want to give them a platform, I will go to another room because I'm not going to tolerate Bingo. it. Bingo. Because what's not going to happen, Darth, is you are not going to just come in here and commandeer a whole I'm not commandeering people. I'm not I'm not commandeering. I, I can't commandeer can I it. Yeah. Can I yeah, I'm correcting you. May yeah, I'm correcting your false statement. I'm not commandeering anything. May I finish? Yeah, you May can finish. finish. Just don't just don't lie about me. Yeah. We cannot mute every single person you've ever interacted with when they're the That's only That's not what I'm asking you. Come forward and talk. That's not what I'm asking you. So please stop okay, misrepresenting. Well, Twice you misrepresented me. Twice you said I'm commandeering the room. I'm not commandeering the room. Num number two, I'm not asking you to mute everybody. I'm just telling you that you need, uh, if you're going to be a responsible, mature Christian moderator of your own room, you need to trust other fellow Christians when you t when they tell you that there are a number of I people do. that are no notorious trolls, you should not allow them to speak. And if you do, you're allowing them to do uh, speak because you you're naive. So number one, you made a falsehood. I'm not commandeering the room. I can't commandeer the room. I don't have those those powers. Number two, Two, you're misrepresenting me when I'm saying that I want to want to have everyone uh, uh, muted. Well, the only people I want muted are people who are these scumbags, multi-year stalkers and trolls. Okay, 
but you choose not to believe me. Well, if you want to be gullible and give these people the right hand of fellowship, then so be it. I will leave and go to another room. If you want to be naive and gullible, okay? Now, you want to throw around accusations at me? Good, I'll throw around accusations at you. You want, you want to be gullible and let these notorious trolls speak? Good, be gullible. I'll go somewhere else. Okay. Who else wants to speak to Dark? Is there anyone else that's willing to come forward and speak to Dark? You see, they do this periodically in rooms where there are room owners that are naive and unacquainted with their terrible histories. And this is why they do it. I've made it very clear to these people, I don't want to talk with them again because of their notorious behavior. But they keep on showing up like scabs, okay? Gee, I wonder why they're doing that. But you want to believe them and not me. Does anybody else want to tar talk to Dark or confront him on what he said so far? But the point is, what ultimately on a metaphysical scale dictates any state of affairs, including the would-be autonomous reasoning of man? Well, the answer is they got nothing. They're bluffing. In other words, they're in a universe where stuff is just happening. And because there's stuff happening consecutively in their localization, which is their mind, they think they have autonomous reasoning. Well, based upon what? I think okay. a God made it possible. Okay, would you please, would God you please, would you please mute Skylar? Thank you. Yeah. Now, Skylar is somebody who has been rude, obnoxious, abusive, disgusting. He comes into rooms and he says, pornographic things to me and at me in rooms and then you wonder why i don't want to talk with him okay well i'm not wondering anything honestly this is my opinion dark if you want to give me a chance to hear it um i have uh, no real knowledge of who you are or who these people are or the history you have with them this room is for a christian debate in order to actually make a defense give an answer to the atheists fully understand yeah. right now in the background i'm being told okay do not let dark leave i'm like okay cool i will accommodate dark um but i'm trying to figure out who is it in this room who actually you're either to you're either to gonna have to dark. trust me you're either gonna have to trust me or not trust me which is your prerogative okay i have no reason right. to lie about these despicable people when i identify them by name yeah, There's no reason for me to lie. I think, I think you do that. I think what you've said so far does actually demonstrate there is a history between you and these people that warrants uh, the action being taken right now. All I'm trying to figure out right now is who can or who would you talk to and who is willing to come forward well, and talk to you? About the, well, the answer to that is few and far between, but we keep trying. Now, except for the village idiots, right? The more intelligent, mature-minded unbelievers don't want to converse with me because their position is going to get annihilated. So all we have left are these multi-year, obscene, perverted, stalking, harassing uh, atheist trolls. Well, it's not going to happen when I'm around, okay? You, you want to host them after they've been identified as multi-year trolls? More power to you. I'll go to another room. Well, we're not trying to send you to another room right now. We can why do you think uh, why do you, okay, hold on a second. Why do you think they they're showing up and they're insisting on talking with me when they know that I've made it abundantly clear, okay, that I have no interest in talking with them because of their notorious bad behavior. Why do you think they keep on doing it? They know I don't want to talk with them, and yet they keep on um, persisting. Isn't that called stalking? You know, yes. when, when, when somebody on Discord and Clubhouse has said to me, Darth, I've, I've had a few people, not many, I've had very few people say to me, Darth, I don't want you speaking to me. I don't want to dialogue with you. I don't want to debate with you. I do not follow these people around. I do not parachute in to those rooms and insist uh, and talk to them and pretend like we don't have a history where they've told me, I don't want to talk with you. But these people want to pretend 
like there's not a history. They want to pretend, like I've said, I have no interest in talking with you. You have burned your bridges with me, okay? I'm just informing you of what, what the nature of these people. They're disgusting. You see, they don't show up in my room, uh, in the in my rooms on this server and the other server. Um, when I when when I have mutes or there are moderators who are sympathetic because they're going to get slapped with the red badge of courage, okay? But they do show up. They do shut up. Okay, mute Jail Warren. He's another one. Okay, Jail right. Warren is another one. Mute him. I'm just pointing okay, out. He's another behavior. one. Okay, yeah. So he's another one where I've told him he keeps on showing up in rooms. Uh, w when I go in into rooms where I don't have moderation powers, trying to harass me, he has burned his bridges with me. I have told him I have no interest in talking with them. Yet they're trying to take advantage of you. Okay. Now, do we have any other intelligent, mature minded unbelievers? who would like to challenge the identity claims of Jesus Christ being Lord, Creator, and, and Savior. Hey, Angels. It's uh, good to meet you. How are you? Uh, pretty good, but I don't want to take Dar Thunder. I did listen to Random, though, talk to him the other day. That was pretty sharp. That was on Tom Rabbit. Well, I had a question for the room owner. Who's the room owner? Well, he, uh, what Darce was saying, though, is what, what Random did. He says, I finally got you alone in a room, and now I'm going to let him have it, right? Like, So that's... Right, but my question is, can we just not get the claim and give have Darth give the argument? If he doesn't want to talk to somebody, people can just respond to the argument, yeah, right? Yeah, skinny, skinny, skinny Pete is another one, okay? He's, an, he's Why another multi-year troll. everybody muted you mute him, please? I'm not even no, talking. You, you know, you have a multi-year history of trolling as well, Skinny Pete, okay? See, what, what, they, what they do is, when they're in a room like this with somebody like you who isn't familiar with the, the backstory, then multiple of the trolls come in the room to harass and for entertainment purposes. They're doing this on purpose for shtick. Okay. Can we just ask for your argument? I I I, I gave it already. That was a claim. Yeah, I know Dark's argument. Yeah. Dark's okay. Argument. And 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 when you said that's when you say that's a claim, then you're saying it's a claim as a claim. Do you have an argument that what I just said is merely and only a claim? Not until you make your argument to me. They say, no, wait, wait a minute. You're dodging. Okay. It, can you have an argument behind the your claim that what I just said is only a claim? Yeah, because there's no backing it. There's no argument you're not, for it. There, there's, not, there's nothing backing what you're saying. <clears throat> you haven't made your argument for the yeah, claim. I said, I said that I'll go over it again with you. Okay. Okay. First of all, do you acknowledge that the world exists? Yes. Okay. So the world is is uh, can be considered in part and in whole. Either the world, as we come into contact with it, either it necessarily and rationally, undeniably reveals the eternal, or not. It's a true dichotomy. Do you accept the dichotomy? What's the eternal? Okay. That which is without beginning. So the universe. Okay. No, I didn't say the universe. I said that which is without beginning. Now, do you do you accept that the world in whole and in part necessarily and rationally undeniably indicates the eternal? That question makes no sense. Okay. No, it does it does make a sense because what we're well, talking me, about, okay, well, I'll try to explain it to you. You can play dumb if you want to. But that's not, not going. That's not going. That's not going to make you look good. Okay. So when we say the eternal, we're saying that there, in our metaphysic, in a model of reality, we have that which is the ultimate starting point, the ultimate reference point as to why anything is. When you ask for an argument for a proposition or a statement, you're you're asking for background information. You're asking for a reason that something is correct. I just want you to prove that I asked Jesus you a question. If you, if you the dodge, the, if you do, if you dodge, I don't care. Question what what, okay, goodbye. Have do. a nice day. Have a nice day. You want to behave course, like a little job? We're, we're done. Shit. No, no. You see, now you're yeah. trolling. Bye. No, I'm not. Have a nice day. Bye. You just won't answer my questions. No, we're done. I'm we're trying not. to go. I'm trying to go you through won't answer with my you. Questions. Okay. All right. You know what? You, you see what he's doing? Mute him. We're done. We'll move on to somebody I, else. I can't hear who you're talking to. Who are you talking to, Dark? 
it's it's Grigori. Okay, I'm a you know, attempting, who, you know what Grigori I'm, I'm means. Attempting, okay, can you mute him, please? He keeps you know on interrupting Grigori me. Means? Would you please man. mute him? Okay. okay, mute him. Thank you. Okay, so this is I don't know who this guy is. Okay, so he's he's pretending like he's an honest interlocutor. I'm trying to work him through a discursive process. Okay, so the point is this: either the world is necessarily indicative and rashly undeniably indicative of the that which is eternal or not. So we have an option here. You have to choose one or the other. There's not a third alternative. Why? Now, because it's a true dichotomy. Who says? I just said it. It's A or not A. Oh, okay. I mean, I... Yes, you did. Yeah, are we, it, Gus? Are we going to play this little game again, where you're just I, you just play the dichotomy? Yeah. Do you know what a dichotomy is? Yes. Either the yeah, world yeah, necessarily Gus, indicates the eternal. I'm answering you. Yeah, this isn't going to work, Gus. If you're going to do your same interrupting tactic, either the world indicates. Okay, okay, you. all right, all right. Have a nice day, Gus. We're done. I I attempted I attempted to respond to you, and you just want to troll. So this is what they're doing behind the scenes, just so you know it. Okay, they collude in other rooms. And they tell other atheists who have a history with me to try to try to show up and and troll, okay, and to agitate me. This is what they do for shtick and for laughs and for Tom uh, Rabbit videos, okay? The fact of the matter is this. Either you accept that the world indicates the eternal necessarily or you don't. It's a true dichotomy. It blows my mind that they think they're fooling anybody when they reject a true dichotomy. This is how embarrassing it is talking to these atheists that they will even argue against a true dichotomy. They'll actually say stupid crap when you present a true dichotomy and say, what's the argument for that? I mean, can you imagine if you say something is either A or not A? And they go, what's the argument for that? Like they don't live that way? Yeah, mute Tom Rabbit, please. Oh, come on. You don't want to do that. A uh, man's got yeah, a question yeah. for you still. Oh, f are you telling me? You should just make something up like you okay, do. Okay, mute, mute Bina, please. Bina is a multi-year stalker and troll. Please mute, mute Bina. Bina. Bro, he's trolling. Please mute Bina. Bina has a multi-year history of trolling, stalking, and harassing, okay? Yeah, Bina, you blew your opportunity several years ago. I tried to work with you. Uh, I ignored your bad behavior. Um, you know, I, I just don't understand. It may, maybe, maybe some of these atheists are mentally ill, okay? Maybe it's even worse than they're deluded in their God denialism. Maybe they have a touch of mental illness, to use a metaphor. I mean, how many times do I have to uh, say to the usual suspects who engage in stalking and harassing and trolling year after year after year on multiple internet platforms, and then they keep on coming back like cockroaches? This is why they troll. This is why they're deceitful and evasive. Do we have any intelligent, mature-minded unbelievers? They're all muted. Trolls? Yeah, and, and likewise, you are too. Well, well, first of all, the people that are muted are not intelligent, mature-minded unbelievers. These are people that have behaved utterly disreputably, okay, and unbecomingly as trolls, stalkers, and harassers, okay? Are you unaware, Corsi, that those individuals who got muted have been told, each and every one of them, I have no interest in talking with you now and to the future? And they were told years ago that, years. Are you unaware of that, Corsi? Darth, I told you once I didn't want to interact with you, and you insisted on interacting with me. So that you're makes dodging you my just question. just as bad as every single person that you're okay, accusing. You're, okay, you're ignoring my so question. No, I'm not ignoring it. I'm literally you addressing the, I am it, speaking. King. I am speaking to you because you spoke to me. Yeah, I know. 
But before, now, in, in the you past, dodged you my have question. literally you dodged addressed my me. Question. I told you Please I didn't want to talk to you. And, and, and you guess jumped what? over and, me and anyway what? And, and demanded and guess to speak what? to me. Every time you come in the room, okay, for the, for the last six months or so when you come in, for the most part, I ignore you. I do not seek you out. I don't come into rooms to address Almost or speak mad. to you. So stop deflecting. Now, the point Bullshit. is simply That's this. You dodged my question. You dodged my question. No, I didn't. I, I actually people, addressed it. The, peop the people the who were been muted. You know what? This is your last chance. The people that have been uh, red dot, red dot, have muted. Have they been told by me years ago? I have no interest in talking with you. Yes. Good. So shut up. No. Whoa. It's rude. Darth, just because you're mad doesn't make you I'm right. Not, uh, no, I'm going to turn you down. You're a client. Oh, that's what I figured. Yep. What a baby yeah, move. The, can't do that, Dorothy. Yeah. You, yeah, you're the guy not who allowed goes to sit the there and, and turn other people down sex just to speak suit. over them. That is a server rule, and I can step in. Do we have, have any intelligent, mature-minded unbelievers who want to challenge the existence of God? No. See, we can't find any, because those who are intelligent and mature-minded who aren't trolls are afraid of getting their, their unbelief annihilated. Or maybe nobody wants to talk to an asshole. Darth, okay. am I yeah. muted? Yeah, would you would you guys would you guys would you guys mute uh Soshi please? <laughs> yeah, mute Soshi please. Thank you. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, do we have any mature minded intelligent atheists who would like to challenge the existence of God? I'm gonna ask you one time. Have you turned me down so you can Please hear shut me? up? No, Good. you're not turned That's down. Shut up. Get out of here, scumbag. That's all I wanted to hear. You're a scumbag. Me thinks thou dost protest too much. You're a big phony. Funny. Anyway, see, this is all they've got is they troll, troll, or troll. And even Corsi's trolling right now. And by, and by the way, did you notice how many of the trolls showed up, Herman? Insisting on talking with me? Just, they came just, flocking, sir. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just just to get my go, just so they can get entertainment stuff for Tom Rabbit videos. This is what they do. This is this is what infantile uh, children they are in adult bodies. But when they reject the Christian worldview, it's actually a form of insanity. And in fact, whatever metaphysic that they might even attempt to put forward. Is a is not only rationally indefensible; it violates the own their own principle or criterion that they use to dismiss God. Okay. What if you're an epistemic nihilist? Though? Okay, would you mute Lowell's please? Here we have we have another <laughs> we have we have another stalker and a troll. You see, they can't help themselves. They are okay? all out today. Yeah. Well, you know this is this is how grossly immature they are. You know. It, I've been dealing with atheists for 13 or 14 years, and I can honestly tell you that the vast majority of atheists that I've had the displeasure of dealing with, they are not only irrational, they are grotesquely immature, those of which uh, are legal adults. They're grotesquely immature. Most of them are, are kind of disgusting in the way they, uh, they, they conduct themselves. You refuse to bow now, but you will bow then. Right now, you're just whistling past the graveyard, pretending that you have rational grounds to deny him. You have rational grounds to assert nothing. Okay? How do you rationally assert a metaphysic? What's your username? MPX. Oh, it's the old uh, King Xerxes sidekick. I still don't understand how I got this title, but I'll take it for now, I guess. Just to uh, you know perfectly, you know perfectly well how you got it. You just what you just did is you lied. No, I mean I I understand. Why are you lying to Why are you lying to me? I'm not, I'm not you know perfectly lie. well our history I, that we've had together before and why I've made that label. You know perfectly well, and now you're pretending. Oh, golly gee whiz! I don't know how I got that label. Why are stop lying? I, I agree okay. with him on one particular. Are, are, are you going to are, are you going to admit? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Are you going to admit to this audience that you just lied? Because if you don't admit you're lying, I'm not going to talk with you. Okay, I don't. So you were lying, weren't you? 
No. Okay, I'm have a nice day. Title. You're a liar. You you are a filthy liar. You know why I gave you the label, okay? You know, King Xerxes sidekick, because of your repeated coming in and and defending him. Okay. Now, whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, you know full well why I gave that you that label. Okay? And then you go, oh golly, gee whiz. I I have no idea how I got that label from Dart Dawkins. I don't know how that happened. You know, once once you blatantly lie to me, then I'm not going to talk with you. You could disagree with me with the day as long. Tell me I'm wrong, and we can have a good, vigorous debate. All right? You start lying to me, okay? I'm done with you. You know, Darth, maybe it's there's some atheists here that are afraid to speak up because they're intimidated because of the history you have with these people. But I'll just stay. No, you know, I have a history. Not trolling, Darth is fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have a history. Possible. I have a history with people who are not blatantly trolling and being blatantly deceptive, where we can have a very prolonged, cordial uh, conversation. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it many times. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I've witnessed it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, but it, it so conveniently escapes the atheist memory. All they want to remember is when I'm dealing with, you know, trolls and scumbags and vile people, and then I get angry with them, justifiably so. But MPX there is outright lying, Out, outright lying. Okay? He knows full well while I gave him a label. He know that he has white knighted for Xerxes on numerous occasions in, in the past. And then he comes on going, I, I don't understand how I got that label. You know what? They are compulsive liars. So just way, be clear, if someone is nice and non-confrontational, you won't mute them? Mute JDK. Mute JDK, please. Yeah, JD yeah. is a bad Yeah, word, you, lost, you lost your opportunity, clown. You started trolling again today. He's very rude. Yeah, he, yeah. Look, it's abundantly clear to me that people like J.D. Kane and J.D. Kane himself, if they actually weren't suffering from low self-esteem as atheists, if they actually uh, had the intellectual confidence and conviction of their position, there wouldn't be a need for them to act like imbecile 15-year-olds on the internet okay but they do it why not why not use the prowess of their intellect and their superior reasoning rather than to act like imbecile teenagers but that's what most of them do right it's because they have low self-esteem about about their own intellectual ability. This is why they troll, troll, troll. This is why they lie, lie, lie. This is why they dodge, 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 and evade, and evade, and evade, and split hairs. Any moron can do that. How many people do we have in the room right now? Because it's not showing. See, we got 40 people in here. We can't get one intelligent atheist. Okay. I don't think the moderators in the room are Darth Dawkins sycophants. They're not obsequious Darth Dawkins bootlickers, okay? They just want to have a productive debate room, and and they didn't initially want to mute some of the people, but they began to realize, yeah, these people are trolls, right? And so when you when you filter out the atheist trolls, you know, it, it, I, it's like, you know, in the woman caught in adultery in the pericope in John 8, which for disclosure is not in some of the oldest manuscripts, but after the Pharisees tried to um, use this woman to entrap Jesus in a double bind situation, and Jesus said to them, you know, you who are without sin cast the first stone, because they were doing this illegally anyway, and they left. And Jesus said, where are those line accusers? Where, where are they? Where are the atheists? Where are you? Wait, are you Jesus in this analogy? Okay, mute Jack Burton. Ja okay, ju just, 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 just for the record, just for the record, 
Jack is a stalker and a harasser. He's done so for a number of years. He's posted obscene messages to me and about me on this platform and on Clubhouse as well. Okay? I'm saying to the they where are you? Where where are the intelligent atheists? Where are they? It's embarrassing, isn't it? Did you catch that, Tom Rabbit? Hope you upload that to YouTube.